hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel i'm Gertrude Bosibori and today i'm going to be reviewing something exciting and it's the Ramingdon automatic hair color apparently i'm kind of late in knowing this product ex exists but i've never seen any one of my hair type uh, doing a review on it so i thought why not um just do a review on it and i also wanted something um since i'm not a professional hairstylist i wanted something that I can easily do it on my own and it's going to give me the curls that I need. And inside the box you have the, the automatic color obviously and an instruction booklet which has like three six pages. Uh, you can read it if you don't want to but normally I don't like reading the manual but I prefer being safe than sorry so I just read it. I read all of it and it comes with um. A pretty long uh, USB charging cable in color white and it's in type C if I'm not wrong the charging cable is in type C it's type C and you can since it's pretty long you can use it um, in from a distance where you're charging it that I haven't used it while still in the charger and it comes in this beautiful black like a velvet fabric or material and inside it it also has a very smooth uh, plastic wrap i think it helps um, to make sure that the device doesn't get any scratches or somehow damage to it and the star of the show <laughs> it's this automatic color it's beautiful and it's gray and pinkish in color and it comes it has three buttons with an is it LED or LCD I'll screen and you can see there's a start button and also there is a like a bronze or brownish color inside that's the rod where all the magic is supposed to happen is supposed to happen and you you can easily turn on the the screen it takes about two seconds to turn it on and as you can see you have a bunch of readings there and just uh, a little tip if you don't know which is which the one at the top is where you turn it on and something the icon like a triangle is where you move to the to the detail or the icon that you want if you want to go to time you use that triangle now where the icon has plus um with and minus that's when you start changing the settings like if you want to increase the heat setting or you want to change it to from degrees celsius to fahrenheit uh, the plus and the minus is where you're going to do to use and also the timing the it takes from zero uh, from eight seconds to i think 18 seconds that's where you use it that's why you use the plus and minus so i set mine to 200 degrees celsius with a 12 second timer and i put it in the left since i'm going to be doing on my right side of the head i used the left side of the automatic color if that makes sense if it's written left you use it on the right side of your head if i'm not wrong so here i just detangled my hair a little bit so that it's smooth and it doesn't get stuck up and i just put it you just put it inside the barrel and you press the start button so that the hair can be like sucked inside it once it stops turning just a reminder once it stops turning it stops turning you just let go of the start button and it's going to hit it it's going to curl the hair and wow can you all see how good it looks and they did say in the manual that it's going to produce a bit of smoke um when you're doing your hair for the first time so i wasn't uh, worried about it since they mentioned it they mentioned it in the manual um here i was just a little bit excited because i mean where has this product been all my life i was so excited that i found some something that can give me the curls that i want without having to do any effort in achieving them so i did a second test 
hoping that it's going to give me the same result. And funny enough, the beeping sound didn't annoy me and I, I wasn't even aware of it when I was doing my hair most of the time. So maybe some other people, they might bother with it, but I was okay with it. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I think I was just in my moment, in my zone, because I was so excited. I mean, look at these beautiful curls. They look so perfect. Personally, I will never achieve such beautiful curls if I did it on my own. And I think I was so happy that I made this purchase. So I just continued doing the same um, process and I made sure that I used smaller section, about an inch of a section and to curl it. Outside the product, um, you can't, it's, it's like insulated or something so you won't burn yourself from it. The hot um, metal part is inside it, so which is amazing, especially for someone like me. You don't need to continue pressing the start button throughout the whole seconds because it's unnecessary and it won't make the curls the curls be more color if that makes any sense. But oh, I'm super loving how it looks so far. Just a, uh, a few things to point out is when you purchase this device, um before you use it, make sure that you fully charge it and it takes around five hours or more to charge it. So you make sure that you charge it so that the battery doesn't have any issues. And the second thing, I wrote them down on my phone so that I don't forget. Um, make sure it doesn't come in contact with water. And, oh, and as you're curling it, make sure this side of the barrel that's open the opening of the barrel make sure that it's facing away from your face make sure that it's facing away from your face when you're curling the hair and make sure you detangle please please make sure you detangle the hair before using the 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 device because as you can see i didn't have any issues um my hair did, didn't get stuck in it that's because i make i made sure that i tangled i detangled it uh before using the device so please make sure that you detangle it as well use your hair as well and if in case you um, you encounter uh, like your hair gets stuck in it um the device it's going to automatically stop by itself and you'll be able to to remove your hair from the device so don't worry too much about it and make sure you use a uh, smaller sections because if you if you don't detangle your hair and you put a uh, large sections inside as you can see the barrel it's quite small it's going to get stuck inside so make sure you use a reasonable amount of hair and you detangle it well One more important thing, um, in case you're not going to be using it uh, for for quite some time, make sure that you charge it at least once a month. That is if you're not going to be using the device often. Make sure you charge it at least once a month so that the battery um, quality or... Yeah, I think the battery quality so that it can still remain um, good. I left this side just like this so that you guys can see the difference how it looks like as in can you all see how good it is um the only downside is that um i only used it um half of my head and it was already one bar remaining and it is a, it was only one bar remaining I, I think it's because i used the highest heat setting which was 200 degrees celsius and i used um 12 12 second timer so I think that's why it went down quickly, but I mean, yeah, the results, oh my God, I did not expect this thing, this tiny, tiny thing to, to give such results. So As you know, our 
hair type it's not that easy to get these curls in a very short period of time especially mine for c so achieving this look in 20 minutes is super amazing for me and since it's my first time um attempting to do it i think the results are quite good and and i think yeah in a, in a few minutes i'm going to comb it out so that hopefully fingers crossed uh the curls don't oh, go I away if i was bad. to do the other half of my head it's going to take me maybe 40 minutes and you know since it's my first time doing it i haven't gotten the hang of doing it so maybe with time it's going to take me maybe 30 minutes to do the whole head so yeah i think it's about time i do the results as my battery is about to die ah, um to combat my hair sorry This is not the best comb, I think, for combing out curls, but... Hmm. What do you guys think? I can't tell. Let me use a mirror. I think it's a very pretty uh, look. I used um, Blue Magic, so that's why the hair oil is a bit thick, and maybe that's why it's it's not working well. But, but once I get the hang of it, I think it's going to get better. But the results, I think they are quite nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do so down below. And until next time, bye!